that won't stop. The method on this is two hands, push. I got a line. Then you want to use the whole thing. Keep pushing until you get it down as deep as you want to go. And this is where I'm going to terminate, so I'll have to come back and hard terminate it here. The thing you do not want to do is this stuff. Right, you don't want to sign it. And you, if you do, it's going to be easy for you to walk. Right. And get two or three lines, and it doesn't look very professional. This is hard enough to do by itself. So, this is my terminus right here. So I'm going to come in from the other direction. This is a simple incised line. We're going to do that four times on your stock. If you want, mm -hmm. we're going to follow that up with some fun chip carving. Great. I'm all for it. So the chip carving, I want my little arrows to point in this direction. Right. So for reference, you can mark it like that just so that you'll know that's how the shape of the gouge that we're going to use. And I, sp I space them by eye generally. Okay, there's my gouge. You see a drone on there by you. There's not a lot to that, but it matters. With the tutorial out of the way, Wayne begins laying out where this stock molding will go and begins cutting it with his wood checkering tool. Oh man. You're focused more on the heel. Yeah. If you do it on the nose, it's not gonna wanna dig. Right. Especially in the softer wood. Now. Let's do our, do you like the little chip carving? It's sure. Gonna, it's going to look really good on this. Yeah, I think so. Now I want to make another line. Right. Here's my terminus. And then I want to do a spacing. You don't do that already. Not ever.
to make the carving a little easier to see here, the student's wiping down the wood with some water to expose the grain and also the carving here. And we can see the contrast of that nice incised line with that little bit of chip carving there. The same layout process used on the buttstock is now used on the forestock, as you can see here, where Wayne is laying out this straight line from the ramrod entry pipe to the muzzle. We're going to cut this line in first. Okay. This other, his hand underneath the stock as a guide, right. that keeps him going straight, in theory. I use that as my theory too, but it doesn't always pan out. Now, when you're chip carving, All right. important to stay on the line. Here's your chip. Here's your chip. You like that. Beautiful. With one side completed, Wayne assists the student as they rotate the muzzleloader over on its side to start doing the same thing on the other side. They start by using a small triangular file to nick where the line would connect to the butt plate, so we have a nice even line transition from the wood to the brass butt plate. And then Wayne starts the student off by getting the line going before the student finishes the line and continues laying out the rest of this molding. Using a checkering tool like this is a great way for beginners to establish this molding line. It's relatively safe and it's really difficult to seriously mess up your molding. To learn more about these educational opportunities and more from the National Muzzle Loading Rifle Association, visit nmlra.org. We'd like to thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. I don't think I want to shoot it. <laughs> no, don't say that. You gotta shoot it. It's begging to be shot. Begging. It's pleading. Please shoot me. I know, right?